What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Sav Show. My name is Civilian. I'm the host of this show. And today I'm going to read you a newsletter that I wrote recently, last Sunday. If you want to jump in and uh, grab these newsletters as I write them before anyone else in the world gets to read them, you can subscribe to my uh, list below. Go do that. They're beautiful pieces of writing uh, where I get to... <sighs> I get to share my soul with the world. And um, today I'm bringing you a newsletter called, uh, the subject of it was called, I cried for the first time in two years. And I'm just gonna read it word for word. Here we go. As I sat on the edge of my bed and observed this new human accept its place in our history, I began to sob. The sob turned to a cry, the cry to a wail. I was immediately pulled to so many different places in my recent and not so recent memory. The weight of lives gained and lost came crashing down on me as my soul opened in its most rawest possible form. Three things played on my mind in that moment. One, the birth of a new baby boy. Two, the tragic loss of a friend of a friend. Three, the memory of losing one of my best mates in early 2021. While I continued staring at the photos and videos of this tiny child, I was reminded of so much good. You see, the kid belongs to my best mate, Eamon. Best friend since high school, we have encountered and endured so many twists, turns and subplots together. We've had a wild ride, me and Eamon. <laughs> at various points in the last 10 years, our lives individually had been heading towards disastrous finales. And I mean that. Uh, with so much love. <laughs> Thankfully, we are both in great places right now, being true to ourselves and living harmoniously. I was full of gratitude to see my friend beginning his new family. He deserved it. He had earned the love, security and adoration of a wife that cares about him and a child that will, that will inevitably look up to him. He now had what he has always wanted and I am so happy for him, a family that is. As I began to cry tears of joy, a second thought entered my line of sight. A very young man and the friend of a friend had tragically and suddenly lost his life only days prior to this moment. And I couldn't help but feel for his soul, his parents, and his best friend. Even though I had never met this person, it felt very real. I was sad for them. Sadness combined with gratitude to have my mate Eamon here with me having his first child. The window to my soul had been open and the connection to these threads began pouring in. While shining the light into this corner of my subconscious, another memory appeared. My best buddy, Tim. Timothy Laren, aka Thomas, is what I called him, passed away on the 8th of the 2nd, 2021. See, Tim was like an older brother to Eamon and I. The cool older guy that showed us the ropes, showed us how to get into trouble and sometimes how to get out of it. He was a mentor, a best friend, a role model. He was our fan. He was our brother. And I think about him every single day. He would be so proud of Eamon in this achievement. Feeling all of the love, sadness, grief, joy, regret, adulation, and gratitude that I felt in such a short space of time was a lot, but I'm grateful. This is life. This is the point. The unavoidable circle of life and life and death had been poetically laid out to me in plain sight. So I cried a lot. I let it all out. Everything that I was feeling released in that moment. All I could do was sit back and smile at the end of it. Relief. Relief. Once a snot and tears had been wiped away, what remained was a sense of appreciation. Everything that is here is perfect. Not actually perfect, but in a sense it is because there's no alternative version of now. So we just got to see it as perfect because there's nothing else, right? So celebrate the good things, accept the not so good things, meditate on and see the beauty in all things. This life is dynamic, difficult, challenging, rewarding, painful, and beautiful. But I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Thank you for reading this. Thank you for listening to this. Thank you for being here. Big love to everybody. Big love to my bro, Eamon, uh, his new family, Laura, shout out, Revy, love you all. Um, 
and thinking about all of you. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning into the Savage Show. Send in love, peace, wherever you are. I'll see you on the next episode. Let's go. Yeah.